Songwriter Ryan Oyer from Ringgold, Georgia, and I play Britpop and Americana influenced songwriter music. Full disclosure, yeah, it's taken like six times to say what kind of music you. Play. <laughs> we have outtakes. You you could like totally string them too. We could, yeah. No, it's difficult, really, to. Well, you know, the song leads where it goes, mm -hmm. and so I never really consider when I'm sitting there writing that it's going to fit into a genre it's going it's me going this song needs this mm -hmm. and so the sound kind of changes from song to song tell me about ringgold ringgold is a small little town north georgia uh dolly parton got married there um there's like they make a big deal of that there's a giant mural that they just painted ringgold's like mayberry there's like one town or one main road going through it right um, there's an ice cream shop with Dolly painted on it now. Uh, there's signs that say all that. That's kind of their claim to fame. Um, not much musically. They, they do have like a couple things going on, but like for the most part, if you're in North Georgia, it's like you have to go to Chattanooga to go play or Cleveland. And so that's where you spend a lot of time? Mostly Chattanooga, yeah. That was where I kind of went to open mics and started getting to know musicians around. And in fact, my first record was basically just people I met at Open Mic, and I'd be like, you come do that here? Because we'd be doing it at the end of Open Mic anyway. I'd be like, I really like what you did, will you come record that? And so it kind of became like, I didn't have a band to start. It was just like, wait, you can play drums? Come on, you know, and what or whatever. Um, yeah. So that's where I got my start was like open mics and chatting. Well, your melodies are ringing in my ears for days. Perfume on my t shirt's got a smile on my face. Seems like everywhere I go, I hear Sam Cooke sing. Just waiting to bring it on home to me. Watching your arms and out of my mind. Dancing with the stars and the fireflies. Wanna be yours if you want me. Music your full-time job? No, it's not. Um, there has been points in my life where it was. I work uh, for a flooring company up there, um, and that's full-time. My dad. Uh, gigs are also part of my income, and then the records are like. It's what I do that gets me gigs. That like. I just, it's my pa that's my passion is the recording and the 
writing this the songs, recording them and getting them to be like, this is a moment, this is a thing, this is a record, you know? I think that this is really cool though. So Northwest Georgia is known for flooring manufacturing. Mm -hmm. like if you need carpet or flooring oh, or yeah. something, it's coming out of Dalton. Right. And Which is where I work. You're a part of that economy. Mm -hmm. You're a part of that huge industry up there. Mm -hmm. and Which is funny because my dad, that's the reason that we moved here. Yeah. I grew up in Detroit until I was 13. And then we moved to North Georgia, Ringgold. And uh, my dad worked in flooring all my life and always tried to like get me a job where he was working. I ended up at the competitor. <laughs> <laughs> And that's what funds you to be able to, to make this amazing music. Yeah, that's part of it. Um, the other thing I do just for my own self is like I keep a ledger of how much I'm making on gigs. And then that's the money that I'll spend towards this if everything allows. What does success look like for you? Getting to do it. Um, that's a big part of it. If I'm happy with the sounds that are coming through, um, the people that I'm getting to play with, sometimes Salter and I look at each other and we're just like, dude, this is like a dream. Uh, some of the things that we've done, it, or I say we've done, but it's like we got to do, mm -hmm. you know? Um, you just sit there and go, pinch me, you know? Um, I don't really have an answer other than that. Like, I, either, there's not like a number, there's not a, I'm gonna keep doing this um, until I can't, you know? So the level of success is just based on, are you, you know, are you happy with what you're doing? Are you happy with the art you're making? That's the biggest thing. Um, is that kind of like switching you on, basically, you know? If that's happening, and even if people don't get it, but more than likely, if you're getting it, somebody else is going to get it too, is what I figured out. What seeds you gonna water? Are you waiting on that rain? What well, love could come with pleasure? What well, love could come with pain? Places that if somebody's in Northwest Georgia and want to find you, where would they find you? Because you don't really tour. No, yeah, I stick around there. Um, usually, lately, uh, I play kind of, there's like a trio of hotels that there's one guy that books me for. So that's like my guaranteed extra money essentially. Um, so that's like the Westin Hotel Indigo Marriott. Um, usually once a month or so I'll be playing there, maybe twice. Uh, my goal has been to kind of do one to two bigger events because I also have young kids mm -hmm. and um, I, wanna, I want to be part of their life. I won't book when I have them and whatnot. And so it's like, uh, they be, the focus goes on them when they're with me. Mm -hmm. um, and 
they've got baseball, they've got things. It's this, like, I still get to do it, but, like, they're the focus now. I, I don't matter anymore, you know? This is about them now. But what's crazy is, like, they've become part of kind of the music in a way, too. Because, like, when I made that record that I was talking about that ended up on vinyl, part of the thing that's photo album really cool for me, my, at the time, nine-year-old played drums on two of the songs. Um, and my one-year-old was, like, learning to talk. And so there's little bits of, like, his first phrases, mm. like, where I just went, I'm going to sneak that in there. Like, just catching him as he was going. And that was really, really cool for me. So, like, they become the focus on everything. Um, I still do enjoy, like, we just played Songbirds, uh, the guitar museum up there. Mm -hmm. And it was me and the string quartet, and we did Radiohead's music for two nights. And that was really cool. So it's kind of like, you kind of have to come to me at this point. Like, you have to catch me, mm -hmm. you know? Um, I don't know that I'll like, I'm sure at some point when they're older, I'd try to go tour, but also I'm gonna be older by then. So, you know, we'll see. Now I see you, you stand out in the crowd that you're facing. And I think, darling, you are simply amazing. May you shine on like the sun. You have a ton of talent, and and we heard that here. Thank you. And you're the guy that's singing at the Hotel Indigo in in Chattanooga. You're like, right. You're the guy at at, at the Westin. Like, the, it's something that is is forgettable for a lot of people. It it's people will just walk past it and not recognize that there's somebody with a ton of talent mm. playing in that room and it's worth your time to, to stop and listen. Yeah. You know, and, and I appreciate it when people do. That's the biggest thing. And I do have people that will kind of follow me around from Chattanooga. But then there's also events that happen where you can see several of us. The whole scene up there, there is so many people that are super talented. And that we also all kind of collaborate and work with each other and come up with these ideas for shows that we're like, let's do something that everybody can come watch, you know? When we did the, the radio ed shows, it was like, I looked out to two nights that were basically sold out and it was really cool, you know? And then I, last week I played at Hotel Indigo for, you know, 10, 15 people. I still do I still do the same thing regardless. Mm -hmm. Of course there's more energy when like you have a full room or whatever. But I'm still going to sing and play just like I would. Thanks for watching Peach Jam. If you want to hear more from this artist, you can click here to see the full musical performance or you can listen to the podcast at gpb.org/peachjam. You can also find the podcast anywhere and everywhere that you get your podcast. And if you have a suggestion for Peach Jam, send me an email. It's peachjam at gpb.org. And be sure to like, follow, subscribe, click all the buttons. All that stuff helps.